Hi, I'm Brian James, and I hope that wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, that you're doing well. I'm here in my home yoga and music studio in Montreal, Canada, and we started to get more snow today. So it's a little darker, um, lots of wet snow falling, and I woke up feeling just like a little heavy. We're getting over some jet lag as well, plus a time change. So we're sleeping in. And um, this morning I just woke up feeling like a little heavy, hips a little tight. So for today's practice, um, I want to share with you a similar practice to what I did for myself this morning. And... It'll be a little shorter than yesterday's practice. Yesterday's practice was um, a very good example of what I might teach in a general type class that's 45 minutes to an hour long. And in my daily practice, I switch it up all the time. You know, the first thing I do is uh, I check in with myself and I ask myself what I need this morning. And you know, I've got a pretty big repertoire of practices to draw upon, so I can spontaneously improvise a practice that uh, gives me what I need. And then during the practice, things will change. You know, as I get into my body more and more, um, I'll adjust the practice as I go. So uh, I'll try to share with you what I gave myself this morning in the hopes that some of you will find it helpful. And I'll try to keep it a little shorter today. So all that said, let's begin by standing. <clears throat> now, we started the practice yesterday with a kind of a warm-up sequence. And what I want to share with you today is how to take those different movements from the warm-up yesterday and combine them into one seamless flow. And this is really one of my signature flows that has just come to me over the years. And it's something I go to all the time. It's like a perfect little sequence that you can do anywhere, anytime. So again, we start with the foundation. So bring some attention to your feet. Bring them about hips distance and parallel, knees soft. Start to find your feeling of center. Scan your body, notice if you're holding any tension anywhere. Let the crown of your head lift toward the sky as your feet root to the ground. <clears throat> Start to tune into your breathing. As you inhale, focus on expanding your chest. So the chest expands and then the belly expands. And as you exhale, focus on drawing in the belly. So the belly draws in, and then the chest relaxes. So we inhale, feels like the inhale is coming from above. Diaphragm expanding, belly relaxes. Exhale from the belly. We start to tune into this movement of the breath. Inhale from above. Exhale from below. And that inner movement of the breath is going to really guide us in our practice. So we tune into that first. Try to find a nice steady, even breath. You might even count to four or five on each inhale and exhale.
Okay, and then starting with your hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, open your arms wide, open your chest. Exhale, twist to one side. Bring your opposite hand to the shoulder that's moving back and turn your head to look back. Inhale, back to center. Wait for the full breath and then wait for the exhale to tell you when to move. On your inhale, come back to center, but bring your arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Stretch your arms up. On your exhale, lean to one side. Get into that side stretch. Inhale, back to center. Pressing down through the feet, pressing up through the palms. Exhale to the other side. And you can let your hips move out as much as it's comfortable. Next inhale, come back to center. And this exhale, come into a forward bend with the knees really soft. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms are coming up above. At the same time, try to lift your heels off the floor, palms to the sky, whole body stretch. Reach up. On the exhale, we finish the sequence, hands together at the heart. Take a resting breath. And we're going to go through this three more times. Inhale, arms open wide. Exhale, twist. <coughs> Already clearing out. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, center, arms above, fingers interlaced, palms to the sky, stretch up. Keep your heels on the ground. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, centering. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale from the belly, forward bend all the way down. Really soft knees. Inhale, coming all the way up, whole body stretch, heels lift, palms to the sky, press up as you press through the big toe mounds. Exhale, hands to your heart, heels land. Take a moment. Notice how the breath works with the movement and the movement works with the breath. Let's try it again. Inhale, open, expanding, receiving the breath. Exhale, twist, helping the breath out. It's like you're squeezing out the last drops of the exhale. Inhale, back to center, filling up. Refreshing, and then exhale, twist to the other side, releasing, letting go. Inhale, back to center, the arms come up above, fingers interlace, stretch up, create some length. As you exhale into the side stretch, try to keep that length through one side of your body from the foot all the way up to your hand. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, whole body stretch. Heels lift off like you're going to touch the ceiling. And exhale, landing in your center. Take a moment just to tune in. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center, arms open wide. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, center, arms above. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, center. 
Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, all the way up, whole body stretch, reach for the sky. Try a pause here. And exhale, land in your center, grounded. Just noticing. Okay, if you're not already, you can step to the front of your mat. We're going to do some sun salutations. And this is one of the simpler versions of the sun salutation. Again, we start with the feet hips distance and parallel, standing at attention without tension. Tune into your breath. On your inhale, raise your arms up. Look up, see your hands come together. Exhale, forward bend, soft knees. Touch the ground. Inhale, fill your chest. Step back to a high plank. On your exhale, lower down into a low push-up. And you can drop your knees to the floor here. Chest gets low. Inhale, lift your chest. Upward facing dog. Exhale, press into downward facing dog. The hips go up and back, chest drops down. Take one full breath here. On your exhale, get ready and step or walk forward. Inhale when you get there, fill your chest up. Exhale, forward bend. Next inhale comes all the way up, press through your feet, arms above, explore a little back arch here, and exhale, hands to your heart, drop into your center. Take a resting breath, just tuning in, feel what's happening. Okay, we're gonna do this three more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Feel the strength in your arms. Inhale, press your hands down. Lift your chest up. Drop your hips. Feel that whole front body stretch. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. So I encourage you to really bend your knees here. Get the hips up nice and high. Drop your chest down low. Feel the stretch through the armpits. And next exhale, get ready. Step forward using the other leg now. When you get to the front of your mat, big inhale. Complete exhale. Next inhale brings you all the way up. Exhale brings you into your center. Take a resting breath. Tuning in, okay, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward bend, inhale, step back, high plank, full breath in, exhale, lower down, again, you can use your knees if you need a little help, inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, downward dog. Take a full breath in. Complete breath out. Getting ready to transition. Step or walk your feet to the front. When you arrive, re reward yourself with a big inhale. And exhale completely. Next inhale brings you all the way up. And exhale. It's like coming home. Returning to where you started, but noticing what's changed. Okay, let's do one more like that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, plank. 
Exhale, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Full breath here. Exhaling completely. As you exhale, you're getting ready. You feel the spring in your legs. And then step forward with confidence. When you get there, full inhale. Complete exhale. Next inhale, come all the way up. Exhale to your center. And take a moment, tune into the energy in your body. I feel warmth. I feel the vibration of energy through my whole body. I feel my heart rate is a little elevated. I'm trying to talk and practice at the same time. <laughs> Okay, the next sequence I find really nice for the front of the hips. So, begins the same way. We start with the inhale, arms come up. Exhale into a forward bend. Touch the floor and step your right leg straight back. Drop your knee down, flatten out your back foot. Inhale, arms come up above. Interlace your fingers, press your palms to the sky. And exhale, bring your arms in a wide circle around, palms up in front of you in this beautiful receptive gesture. Inhale, reverse that movement. Take a pause here, really feel that stretch through the front of the back hip. Exhale, sweep the arms forward. Try that two more times. And you can explore a longer pause after the inhale in this movement. Okay, on this exhale, bring your hands down. Bend forward and step your back foot forward here. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms above. Exhale, hands to your heart. It's like we retrace our steps back to where we started. Taking a moment to check in. Notice what's changed. And we repeat on the other side now. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Step the other leg back. Knee down, back foot flat. Inhale, arms above. So in this stretch, my hips are pressing forward, arms are reaching up, exhale, sweeping the arms forward. Go for a nice wide range of motion through the shoulders and arms. Two more times. Pause after the inhale. Really feel the stretch. Feel what's happening in this position. One more time. On your exhale, hands come down. Bend forward. Step up. Inhale. Come all the way up. And exhale, drop into your center. Take a moment. Tune in. Okay, let's transition to the floor. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Bring your hands right to the floor and see if you can step right back to downward dog. Inhale, knees come down, chest lifts up, lift your tail, and exhale, child pose. Take a resting breath here. And I want 
to share with you a little sequence that I really like for working the upper body, which doesn't get a lot of attention in yoga. <clears throat> so we start in child pose. Take a full breath here. Knees about shoulder distance apart. Now inhale, bring yourself forward. Keep your knees on the floor. And as you exhale, come into a low push-up. On your inhale, lift your chest, let your hips drop down. And then exhale, press all the way back into child pose. Inhale, come forward. So the shoulders just in front of the wrists. Exhale, keep your elbows in close, lower down. Inhale, press through your hands, lift your chest, draw your shoulders back, hips drop down. Exhale, press all the way back, child pose. This is another one of those sequences that just came to me one day. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down. Feel your strength on the exhale. Inhale, drop the hips, lift the chest, shoulders back. Exhale, press all the way back, child pose. Continue, we're gonna do this a number of times. Inhale, forward, exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale back. Just find a rhythm, drop into the rhythm. See if you can just let your mind get completely absorbed in breathing and moving. That's what I love about these flow sequences. It allows my mind just to go with the flow. It's a simple movement. Breath and movement are coordinated. And it cultivates this flow state. My mind gets completely absorbed in just the action which is just really enjoyable. And it's such a relief to turn off the thinking mind. Just get into a feeling body. And I think that's where we really connect to joy, bliss, Okay, that's probably enough. Come back into child pose, take a little rest. If it's more comfortable, bring your hands underneath your forehead. Just notice what's going on in your body. Notice your heart rate. Notice your breath rhythm. And maybe noticing how heart and the breath are connected. As the breath slows down, the heart rate slows down. It might feel good just to let some breath out with a uh, mouth open, making a sound. We don't want to be too obsessed with controlling the breath through the practice. There's a time for it. There's also a time just to let go. Okay, 
Let's do some simple seated postures. Again, helping to open up the hips. So sit on your butt, bring your legs out in front. And draw one foot in. It's so like when we do tree pose, the foot can be anywhere on the inside of this leg. Whatever's comfortable. We don't want to try to jam the foot up into the crotch if that's not comfortable. <clears throat> so feel free to have a more open shape. And this leg that's extended, I want you just to bend the knee a little bit. And then orient yourself toward the extended leg. So there's a slight twist. You can bring your hands to your shin. On your inhale, lift your chest. Try to extend your spine with the inhale. And on your exhale, again, drawing in from the belly, let that bring you into the forward bend. Every inhale, allowing your chest to lift, rib cage to expand, exhale, softening into the forward bend. So it's like with every inhale, we create some space and on the exhale, we relax into that space. So for me, when I practice, there's no such thing as a static posture. Our body is always expanding and contracting. So I don't try to pretend that, uh, that it's not. And I don't try to force myself to be absolutely still ever. It's impossible. So I just try to allow the posture to breathe. And then it feels like my whole body is participating in the breath. And again, it just helps my mind to relax and go with the flow rather than struggling to control anything. Without struggling to strive toward a particular idealized posture. Doing something that fundamentally feels good for my body. Okay, next inhale, come up. Mindfully switch your legs. <clears throat> Allow one side to be different than the other. Bend in the extended leg. Little orientation toward the extended leg. Deep breath in, creating some space. Exhale, dropping into that space. And continue with that. Inhale, creating space. Exhale, relaxing into that space. So I don't think we should ever try to pull ourselves into a particular shape. That is always an ego move. You know, we get this idea in our head of what the pose is supposed to look like. And until we get there, we never think we're quite doing it right. I spent years practicing like that. And it was such a relief when that tendency just dropped away. So I want you, I want to encourage you just to notice that if it comes up for you. Notice where that impulse to strive toward a idealized version of the posture. Notice where that comes from. I can almost guarantee that it's not coming from your body. It's coming from your head. And 
as you link your mind and body more and more, your mind will start to surrender to the deeper, older intelligence of your body. This body carries with it thousands, if not millions of years of intelligence and wisdom. Our mind is pretty young. Okay, next inhale, come up. Now, <clears throat> bring the soles of both feet together. So we open up one hip at a time. Now, let's find some symmetry. So again, this could be a very open diamond shape. Uh, I like to bring my hands to the outside of my feet, kind of cup my feet with my hands. Take a deep inhale, create some space, create some length. And exhale from the belly. Just let yourself soften into a forward bend. Don't try to get your head down to your feet. That's not going to get you anywhere. But just let yourself breathe in the pose. And it's the breath that will take you deeper. The more you can let go, the more you can relax into the pose. Oh, and some of these postures, man, it's really hard to come out of them. But that's probably enough time there. So reluctantly inhale, lift yourself up out of that pose. And we're going to lie down. So scoot yourself forward. You can use your legs for support as you roll your spine down onto your mat. And maybe just take a moment, draw your knees in toward your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And we're going to finish just with a simple bridge. So bring your feet to the floor about hips distance, maybe a little wider. Make sure to tuck your shoulder blades in toward your spine so your upper back is flat. You can lift up your head, tuck your chin, place your head back down so the back of your neck feels nice and long. You can open up your arms a little wider so you feel like you've got more grounded support. And on your inhale, I want you to peel your tailbone up off the mat and let that lift the rest of your hips. Pressing through your feet. And then on your exhale, try to roll your spine back down. One segment at a time. So I want you to feel this wave-like motion from your tailbone through your pelvis into your spine. And coordinate that with your breathing. So to me, the breath with sound, ujjayi breathing. In my head, it sounds like the waves of the ocean. Or like when I put a conch up to my ear, a big seashell. And you know how you could hear the ocean in the seashell. So whenever I tune into the breath like that, it brings me right back to the ocean. And then there's something really primordial about these wave-like movements of the spine. You 
Okay, on this next inhale, let's just stay in the bridge for a few breaths. Pressing down through your feet. On the last inhale, see if you can press down a little more, maybe get a little more lift. And exhale, roll down. Ever so gently, bring your knees in. All right, it's playtime, so find any movement that feels good. And you can let go of the control of your breath. Or maybe you come into baby bear pose. This is also, oh man, it just feels so good for my hips. Maybe trying to stretch your legs out a little more in a V-shape, see how that feels. Little rocking side to side. But you know, don't follow my cue. Listen to your body, ask your body what it wants, what it needs, and try to find some freedom in allowing yourself to respond to what the body is requesting Respond creatively, like maybe you do something you've never done before. Or maybe not since you were a little baby and you are absolutely connected to your body. You are super curious about your body. You felt really free. There is no conditioning on you yet. Uh, I think when we were babies, we were all movement geniuses. You know, nobody needed a movement coach when they were a baby. <laughs> It's maybe something that we have to reclaim once uh, we're older and we've been conditioned by our family, by society on how we should sit, how we should stand, how we should move, what's respectable, all that bullshit. This is your time to let that go. The beauty of practicing at home versus practicing in a studio with other people is that you can really let yourself be free without any self-consciousness. And then once you can do that at home, you can probably be a little more free when you're around other people, you know, little by little. A little more free with your partner or your kids, your friends, and then maybe you could be a little more free and expressive with strangers and allow yourself to be more of yourself. And that's ultimately what the practice is all about. You know, and that's not some new age interpretation of the practice. That's really the core of classical yoga. It's remembering who you really are, your original self. Okay, so you can continue to rest. You could sit up and do a little contemplation practice. You could do a little singing practice. I often <clears throat> end my practices with some chanting. And there's a chant that I love that I think is especially relevant right now. I learned it from my teacher, TKV Desukachar. And it's a chant that asks that all people, everyone, may they be happy, may they be free from illness, and may they see what is auspicious. So may they see what is favorable, what is working in their life. And I think that that is just so appropriate for right now with all of the news happening around the virus, we can lose sight of what actually is favorable, what is auspicious right now. What is this time teaching us as a global community? And 
when I shift my focus to that, man, my whole perspective of this thing changes. I see a great opening happening and I see a great remembering of how important it is for us to be conscious and caring of everyone else on the planet. Two-leggeds, four-leggeds, the birds, the snakes, the fish, all beings. So may all beings be happy. May all beings be free from illness. May all beings see what is auspicious. And may no one suffer. <clears throat> Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashche Dukkha Bhagbhavet Om Shanti 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 May there be peace in my mind, peace in my heart, peace in my words and my actions. Thank you again so much. We'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat>